miss you. Are you guys having fun at home? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Haley. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get started. Echo, play hello, how are you? Here's hello, how are you? Are you From ready? The library on Amazon Music. Hello, how are you? Switch, hello. I hope you are too. I am fine and I hope you are too. I hope you are too. I hope you are too this morning. Turn to your neighbor and shake their hands. Turn to your neighbor and shake their hands. Turn to your neighbor and shake their hands. Shake their hand this morning. Awesome. All right. Let's see who's here today. So I'm going to start. I stand up. My name is Miss Alicia. And the question I want you to answer today is if you could have any pet in the world, what pet would you want? If I could have any pet in the world, I would want a turtle. All right. Your turn. Stand up and tell me your name and tell me if you could have any pet in the world, what pet would you have? Awesome. Okay, let's keep moving along. We have a show and tell today and it's Beckham. Beckham, will you run and get something for show and tell? I want all of you to run to your room and get something for show and tell, okay? Run fast, go. Don't get a stinky sock. I don't want a stinky sock for show and tell, okay? No stinky socks. <laughs> All right, Beckham, what's your show and tell? You show us. I have a new puppy. Oh, a little puppy. Thank you. What do you have? If you have something, show it to your mom or your dad, or you could ask them to take a picture of you holding it, and then you can send it to me, and I'll see it, okay? Sound good? Thumbs up. All right, we've been practicing our pledge. Let's do our Pledge of Allegiance. Everybody, please stand up. London's going to come and hold our flag. All right. We take our right arm. That's this one. We wave it in the air, but don't leave it there. Where does it go? That's right. On your heart. All right. Eyes on the flag. Say it with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all then we blast off to sit down can you blast off to sit down good job all right we're gonna move on to our days of the week now remember we made it a little bit harder our days of the week song and instead of saying clap clap what do we say we say seven days that's right are you ready echo play days of the week from my library sing it with me Playing Days of the Week from your library on Amazon Music. Days of the Week, clap! Oh, days I already messed week. up! Seven days! Days of the Week, Days of the Week, Days of the Week. How many? Seven days! There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the Week, seven days! Days of the Week. Seven days, days of the week, days of the week. How many? Seven days. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday, days of the week. Seven days. Days of the week. Seven days. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week. Seven days. Awesome job. All right. We're not going to do echo because we're big now. That means we say them all together. So let's start. They always go in the same order. We never, ever switch them. All right, say it with me. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Good job. Now we have to put our sad faces on because we have to say goodbye to the days that already left. Goodbye, Sunday. 
But that's it. If yesterday was Sunday, today is Monday. Monday. Good job. Let's clap it out. Today is Monday. Today is Monday. Today is Monday. Awesome. And if today is Monday, what day is tomorrow? Tuesday. Very good. All right. We know today is Monday. Now it's time to look at our months. Remember, we always start at the top, but this one is missing. That's because it jumped to the top of my calendar because we're in the month of March. So this is a silly one. Are you ready? Because we point to March with what? That's right, we point with our booties. Are you ready? Echo, play Macarena months. All right, are you Here's ready Macarena to point months. to March with your booty? That's the only one we get to point with. We start with January. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Bring your arms around again. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Spin your arms around again. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Spin your arms around. January, February, March, April, May. July, August, September, October, November, December. Spin your arms as fast as you can. Go, go, go. Faster, 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 faster. Awesome. Good job. All right. We're going to do it all together because we're big now, so we don't do echo. Let's start at the top with January. Here we go. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Good job. And the month we're in right now is March. And we spell that M-A-R-C-H. Let's clap it out. The month is March. The month is March. The month is March. March, good job. Now we have to figure out how many days have we had in March? Let's look at our calendar. This is a big number. We have the number two followed by three. What number is that? 23. 23. Great job. So we know today is Monday, March 23rd, and the year is 2020. Good job. You guys are doing so great. All right. Weather. Now, you might not see the same thing that I see when I look out my window. So I want you to hurry and find a window to look out. Run and look out and tell me what the weather is like. Ready, set, go. What's the weather like? Can you tell your mom or dad? Is it raining? Is it snowing? No, it's not snowing. Is it hot? Is it cold? Is it cloudy or sunny? Remember, we talked about that. Lots of different types of weather. All right, time to practice our counting. So everybody stand up. All right. We're going to jump every time we see a number. We're counting all the way to 100. We might have to stop and take some breaks because you know that I get tired. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. Okay, stop, take a break. Whoo! Oh, I'm getting tired. Are you tired? All right, now we're gonna kick. Remember, only kick right in front. Don't hit anybody, okay? All right, we said 30. What comes after 30? 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 
42, 43, 44, 45, come with me, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, stop. Take a big breath. All right, this time we're gonna punch. Remember, you can switch arms. I'm gonna do the same arm because I'm pointing, but don't hit anyone, okay? We said 70, what comes after 70? 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Woo. I am so tired. Are you tired? All right. Now we're going to count by tens. Remember, we only say the numbers that are in this last column. Here we go. 10. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Good job. And we're going to count backwards from 10. So everybody, crouch down. Get ready to blast off. Are you ready? Remember, we start really quiet. And we get louder and louder until we blast off at 1. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! And you got to see Henny's hand when we blasted off. That was great. All right, go ahead and pull it up for me. All right, we're not going to do our number and our color and our shape and all of that. We are going to move right on to our book. And I'm really excited about our book because we are going to start talking about pets. I love talking about pets because we get to talk about so many fun animals. So today, we're going to read a book called What Pet to Get. I love this book. It's so silly. Are you ready? Okay. If you want to, you can lay down. You can sit down. However you want to listen to the book today. Let's get a pet said Jack one day. I promise I'll look after it. If you like, dear, replied his mother absentmindedly. What pet should we get? Hmm. What do you think? What pet are they gonna get? I don't know. Jack thought about it for a little while. I think we should get an elephant, he announced. I could ride it to school. Oh, Cece, you love elephants. Do you think he should get an elephant? An elephant would be nice, dear, said Mom, but not very practical. How would we take it on vacation? Uh, on the roof rack, of course, said Jack. I don't think so, dear, said Mom. It might squash the car. Hmm, maybe not an elephant then, said Jack. <gasps> Ooh, what about a lion, he asked. I'd remember to feed it every day. That would be super, dear, replied Mom. But lions do have very big appetites. And anyway, it would frighten the mail carrier. Hmm, I hadn't thought about that, said Jack. Jack thought some more. I think we should get a polar bear, he said. It would make a great playmate. Oh, a polar bear would be lovely, 
Daisy, dear, replied his mother. But I don't think it would like the central heating. Hmm, I suppose not, agreed Jack. Jack thought some more. What pet to get? Oh, could we get a Trionosaurus Rex, he asked. I could take it for walks. What do you think? Do you think that a Trionosaurus Rex would be a good pet? Oh, that would have been a great idea, dear, replied Mom. But unfortunately, the Trionosaurus Rex has been extinct for 65 million years. Oh, that's a long time. What a shame, said Jack. Well, what about... What pet do you think he's going to ask for next? A giraffe! Too tall. A rhino! Too wide. How about a bison? Too smelly. A crocodile? Too snappy. But look, he would even brush the crocodile's teeth. Do you think a crocodile would make a good pet? <sighs> I suppose a shark is out of the question. Yes, dear, sighed Mom. Perhaps you could try to think of something less exotic? Hmm, he hasn't had very many good ideas yet, has he? Early the next morning, Jack announced, I've got it. Let's get a dog. What do you think? Would a dog be a good pet? Do you think so? I think that would be a good pet. <gasps> That's an excellent idea, dear, said mom. We'll go this morning and choose a lovely little puppy. <gasps> Did they choose a lovely little puppy? Oh, that one doesn't look like a lovely little puppy to me. That looks like a big dog. And that is the end. Oh, that was so silly. All right, what we're going to do today, instead of making a craft, we are going to do a graph. And I know that you guys know how to do these. Let me move this just a little bit. Because we've done them before in class. But since we can't ask our classmates, you are going to have to ask your family. You could ask your mom and your dad, or you could FaceTime and ask a friend or a grandma or grandpa, and you can fill in your graph, okay? So you should have a paper that looks like this. And if you don't know where it is, ask your mommy because you have a paper that looks just like this. And it says, what is your favorite pet? And down here at the bottom, we have a dog, cat, bird, bunny, fish, a rat or a mouse, hamster, lizard, and turtle. And remember, when you ask somebody what they answer, you color in one square. So if they said bunny, you would color in one square. And if somebody else says bunny, then you color in the square above it, okay? so. I chose to make mine different colors. So I asked my family and my friends what their favorite pet was. So it started like this. And this is what mine looks like in the end. One person said that a dog would be their pet. Three people said a bunny. One person said a hamster. One person said a lizard. And how many squares did I color for turtle? Can you see? How many squares? That's right, three. So I had three friends that said that a turtle would be their favorite pet. So I want you to fill out your chart and see what is your favorite pet. Now it doesn't have to be a pet they have, it could just be what pet that they want, okay? So when you finish filling this out, will you have your mom or dad or brother or sister take a picture and will you text it to me? Because I want to see if your chart looks different than mine because I bet it will, okay? 
Awesome. I sent some really fun things home that I want you to do. You can do them with a brother or a sister. You can do them all by yourself with a mom or a dad. And then I'll send another video and we'll do some books, okay? All right, I miss you guys. Have lots of fun. Bye.